Black supremacy in America is real. So, y'all already know why I'm having a bad day? My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house? On this land? I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fix this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun and so satisfying to watch. Check out this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. Black supremacy is just as bad as white supremacy. And God is not interested merely in the freedom of black men. God is interested in the freedom of the whole human race and the creation of a society where all men can live together as brothers. I am seeing so much black idolatry in modern day America right now. For example, Joe Biden saying that he was only going to choose a black woman for the Supreme Court justice. What about other races, Asian, Indian, white? They're not even considered. And then we have all of these commercials about black kings and black queens. Beyonce doing a whole special on Disney Plus, black is king. Black supremacy is just as evil as white supremacy. Imagine if there was a White is King special on Disney Plus. Today, I'm coming out as a black supremacist. I think this is the best way to identify myself and I'm ready to make this decision. All my life, I knew I was different from the white kids and I needed to be better and rise above. So I coined this term and I'm ready to embrace it and share this with the world. Black supremacy in America is real. And I'm going to keep posting the comments that I get and the messages that I get, threats. I'm going to keep posting them. I'm going to show everybody that black supremacy in this country is real and that there are some white people that are probably in danger. And there are events that do happen that do involve a black supremacist. We just don't put it in the media. The mainstream media doesn't pick up on it. So look at comments like this. Realize they're going to get rid of white people for good. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous rhetoric that people are spewing right here on TikTok. And just the idea that this type of comments, there's videos of people that say things like this, similar to it, right here on TikTok. And if you don't think that that influences young minds that haven't been molded yet, it absolutely does. That's how events occur. That's how hate gets spewed. So this is all over a video that I posted quite some time ago about the Summit Waves Pool in Missouri, where uh, they basically, the Summit Waves Pool canceled an event um, that this mother had planned for her child's birthday. And the mother said that there was 250 people coming, and then there was a Facebook group. And on the Facebook group, it said that there was 500 people attending. So the event didn't feel comfortable with it. They canceled it. Uh, they tried to contact the mother, couldn't get in contact with her. The mother showed up with a whole bunch of kids. And um, basically, they said, unfortunately, the event is canceled. Uh, there's too many people coming. And um, the, the mother started berating the employees. All the kids started berating the employees. They were filming them, calling them racist. Um, and then everybody on the Internet decided to go up in arms. Uh, but obviously, it wasn't racism. I mean, this yesterday, a woman who claimed to be a teacher in Texas went on an insane anti-white racist tirade after finding out her sister was sleeping with a white man. To add to that, she had the words black supremacist in her ex Twitter bio. The content was horrific, but the fact that she was a teacher made it a thousand times worse. In her messages, she had called upon her boyfriend to come kill this white man for her. I posted a video compiling her tweets and videos to X. It quickly went viral because the content was just so shocking. Users immediately went to work trying to identify where this woman teaches. The teacher, Claire Kyle, was not worried in the slightest of losing her job and spent her first day back at school taunting users on social media. It was eventually discovered that she worked as a first grade teacher in Thompson Elementary School in Mesquite, Texas. Then, a six-year-old Google review came to light where a former student claimed she was bullied for being white. This was not looking good for Thompson Elementary School. So a bunch of eight-year-old white kids were being educated by a black supremacist who proudly wrote on social media that I love being racist. Young. So, y'all already know why I'm having a bad day. My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house? On this land? I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fuck this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun and so satisfying to watch.
Claire Kyle eventually deleted her account, but not before reminding us that she will for sure not be fired because she's a good teacher and the school board has her back. Then, this afternoon, the school district put out a statement saying she has been fired. You're fired. You're fired. And was not eligible for rehire. So much for never being unemployed. And so, the school year is off to a great start. Racists who conspire to murder people because they don't like the color of their skin should not be teaching kids. Another one bites the dust. Racists are not needed in our educational system. Thank you for watching. Please remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you and God bless.